why Alex Albon has Red Bull on F1 helmet despite driving for Mercedes partnered Williams. Formula One fans might be forgiven for being confused when they see Alex Albon sporting the Red Bull logo on his Williams helmet this season. Albon, 25, joined Christian Horner's team from Toro Rosso midway through the 2019 campaign, and proceeded to rack up 92 points as he finished 8th, winning the Fiorucchi of the Year award. In 2020 he finished 7th, notching 105 points, but was overshadowed by teammate Max Verstappen, and found himself relegated to the role of reserve driver in 2021 after being replaced by Sergio Perez. This season will be a fresh start for the Thai driver though, after he was named as the new driver at Williams following the departure of George Russell to Mercedes. Albon will partner Canadian driver Nicolas Latoyfi, who at the centre of the controversy then engulfed the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix after his crash prompted a safety car to be deployed, kick-starting a chaotic sequence of events that culminated in Verstappen overtaking Lewis Hamilton on the final lap to be crowned world champion. However, whilst Albon's driving overalls will showcase the Williams colours, he raised eyebrows on Saturday when he tweeted the design of his helmet for 2022. The helmet clearly displayed the Red Bull logo, on both the front and side, which could be seen as contradictory given his new team's close working relationship with Mercedes. However, Albon will remain personally sponsored by Red Bull and Jost Capito has previously admitted his new driver will be showcasing their branding on his headgear. He has thus far refused to be drawn on reports that Albon could return to Horner's team as early as 2023 though. I don't want to talk about the details of the contract, said Capito, when quizzed by reporters at the Russian Grand Prix. The only thing I can say is that he will be an official Williams driver with no contract with Red Bull. He does have a contract with the Thai division of Red Bull, which has been his personal sponsor throughout his career. He has the right to have personal sponsors. Last week, Williams launched their new FW44 car for the new campaign, their first car designed under the guidance of technical director Francois Xavier. It's also the first Williams car launched since legendary owner Frank Williams sadly passed away last year. The FW44 doesn't have the usual white splash of paint on the livery, switching to an all-blue livery featuring streaks of red. Capito said at the launch we are a British team, a proud British team. That's why we have a hint of red on the car. Pre-season testing for all F1 teams gets underway in Barcelona this Wednesday.